In NX2312, a wonderful enhancement to Curve on Surface has been added. So we'll go into Curve on Surface and notice at the top we have a pull down. So we have spline and line. Historically, we've always had the capability of putting a spline on the surface. And the way that worked was you select the faces that you want to put the spline on and then specify the points that you want the spline to run through. Once I specify those points, we have the laydown of the spline. I can pick multiple points, right? I can come in there. Let me create this for now and then do the same thing as I did before. Pick this. So I can pick as many points as I want because this is a spline. And that spline lays down on said surface. I still have the ability to close off the spline if I want to. I have constraints, what direction, surface parameters, you know, is it reverse the U, reverse the V, make sure things go in the direction that I want, settings, I've got my curve fits, etc. And micro position, this is just standard fare to, if I want to change the speed with which the positioning occurs. So all of those tools, some of these are improvements, they're really nice improvements. But what I really want to talk about is, let me go curve on surface, the enhancement called line. And this is a very, very useful tool. Now, when I draw on a line, I'm going to start off with projection. So when in olden days, when I would use a curve on surface and just simply draw a line from point to point on the surface, like I did here, this original spline is basically a point to point from here to here, and the curve is projected. So imagine you drew, drew a line between those two points and then did the projection. You get a normal projection, and that's what the spline looks like. And I'll show you that right now. Pick my surface. Let me select my start point. Let me select my end point. Notice they're basically identical. Okay, there, there may be some very, very slight differences, if any at all. Okay, because the spline tool, what it does is it picks those points, strings the spline through those points, and then projects it onto the surface, but it's a, um, a normal surface projection. Okay, so it, in most cases, in, from what I do most of the time, I don't really use normal surface projections most of the time. Most of the time I want it along the direction. So I would draw the curve, give me a direction, and I end up with a curve that um, you know, multiple features. But now I have the ability to do what's called a geodesic. Geodesic does something a little different than just a standard projection along a direction. In this case, what geodesic is doing, which is this guy, is it's tracking along the surface the shortest distance between the two points. So if you have, let's say you have a whole center location and you have another whole center location over here, and you wanted to draw a line in between those, maybe you have to maintain an edge distance. Geodesic, with the line type being projected uh, onto the surface using curve on surface. Let me use the correct terminology. Using geodesic mode for line is going to give me that true edge distance without having to pick the edges or whatever and then do parallels or any of that stuff. Okay, so this addition is an extremely powerful addition, just going to make everything a lot easier. Like I said, especially for edge distances and, and things of that nature. It's a very useful tool, so thank you.